Okie doke. So, hello. Um, I wanted to give you a brief demonstration of your system preferences on your MacBook. So, to find your system preferences, you can either go up to the Apple in the upper left hand corner and choose system preferences from there, or you can go to your dock and it will be the icon that has the gears. So we'll choose that and this is what you get. This is the um, your all your options for your system preferences and I won't go over all of them. I'll go over some of the more common ones that you would be using. Um, you probably won't be using the general so much. Um, you probably won't notice a need for it but you can um, have some kind of impact on your appearance of your screen and some of the buttons and how many recent items you have in some of the applications that you use so you can just kind of scroll through here and and see what um, changes you want to make. Um, desktop and screensaver you might want to change those. The desktop is as you can see behind this is the lion that's your desktop and it has all your little desktop icons on it so that's kind of like your home home page and then your screensaver um, is something you can choose on how it looks, on how it behaves, and you can choose from all these different ones. I choose um, some National Geographic pictures because I just think they're just fascinating and I chose to shuffle them. Um, in this right now it says uh, start after 20 minutes and this has hot corners but I will talk a little bit more about that in just a second. So going back, um, if I go into my dock, this um, goes into my dock preferences. The dock is the place where all your icons for your most commonly used apps are. Um, so that's on the left or the bottom, wherever you have your dock. And so these options here will change those. Mission control. Mission control is in your dock. It looks like this right here. Once you click on Mission Control, it just shows you everything that you have open at the time. Um, and then you can change some of the things in your Mission Control um, right here. I do want to go over hot corners real quick. Um, that just means the corners of your screen you can um, make behave a certain way. I have mine set to in my upper right. If I go into the upper right, it will put my display to sleep. It'll just go dark. Or if I go to the lower right, it will start my screensaver, my beautiful nature pictures from National Geographic. Um, I can I can demonstrate here. I don't think it'll show you on the video, but if I just scroll off to the right, it's gone completely dark for me. I don't think it will for you. And then once I start moving my mouse again, it comes back up. However, you will see when I go to the lower right, it goes dark and then it brings up my screensaver pictures and then once again when I start moving my trackpad around then um, my screen comes up so if you just want to go dark really fast or you want to bring up some of your screensaver pictures real fast then you would just um, set your hot corners that way okay let's see I do know as um, a lot of our teachers as they project onto the screen in their classroom you will need to know how to change the mirroring options here now if my computer and let me just go back and show you where I am I'm in under hardware and displays if I'm connected to a projector then I'm going to have an option here for mirroring options so just keep that in mind so if you're um, display on the projector is not what's on your computer then you're going to need to go here into your displays and uncheck or check your mirroring options there and you can check check your um, different scaled options right here and your brightness so that's under displays energy saver if I'm on battery power or if I'm plugged in I can set when my computer goes to sleep and when my display goes dark so those are the times that I have set and I can change those. Um, my computer goes to sleep for under battery power. That's probably fine. My display goes to sleep after five minutes. Under power adapter, probably a little bit more. And so you can change those there. 
and that's under the energy saver. Um, keyboard, you can um, change some of your options here, so just play with it until it's comfortable for you. Um, we also use the trackpad with the MacBook, so if you um, go here, it's very easy. You've got three different categories um, making changes to your trackpad. I would just go through here. Once you mouse over an option, it will demonstrate what that looks like for you. I will point out that on the scroll and zoom, I do not have this checked. Um, so you'll see what I have is um, as I scroll down with my fingers, I scroll down the page. That seems more um, natural for me than what they have described. If you check the natural, then your fingers are going the direction of the page. So as you scroll down, it's scrolling up the page. So they call that natural, but it's just not natural for me, so I'm unchecking that. So here are your different options for your scroll and zoom. Then you have more gestures. I would just go through each one of these to see which one you prefer. So that is under the trackpad. And then you have your print and scan options, your sound options. Um, then you have some of your internet and wireless um, connections, your Bluetooth devices, and users and groups down here for system. And you probably won't be using anything um, down here towards the bottom. So the main ones you want to use are desktop screensaver, your displays when you're projecting, energy saver when um, it decides when your computer or your display goes to sleep, and your trackpad and maybe your print settings and that's about it. Hope it helps.